Hello everyone and welcome back to Drunk Camera Reviews. Today we will be reviewing the Leica M3. While reviewing the Leica M3, I shall also be drinking some Orange Blossom beer by Papa Bill Brewing Company. It's pretty good. It's a light beer. Great taste to it. Yeah, let's get started. Now Leica, came, now Leica introduced the M3 in 1954. It was supposed to be the replacement for the Leica 3 series. I think the last one was the Leica 3F. It's a pretty cool camera. I actually had a Leica 3C as my first rangefinder. But anyways, from 1954 to 1966, when they ran the M3, uh, they sold around 220,000 units making the Leica M3 one of their most popular cameras ever. And for good reason. I mean, it was durable. Like this thing, it's from, I don't even know when it's from. It's a very, very early model M3. They, ju they just, they keep ticking. I don't know what's with it, but it takes amazing photos and I don't even care how old it is. It's just like, God, it's so good. <coughs> now, if you don't already know, <coughs> ugh, the way a rangefinder works is when the lens focuses, it moves in and out of the camera body and it moves this little tab right there. And the way it works is it moves, there's a bunch of mirrors up in here. And it goes from this side to this side and that's how it focuses. Now what you're seeing now is you're looking through the viewfinder of a Leica. Now you can see that little patch in the center the further you get away, the closer it gets to being in focus. Yeah, that's the one issue with the M3 is it doesn't focus closely. It focuses to about one meter. So, anything further than a meter, you see there's a double image of my shoe. Now, if I, are, if I were to move the lens, I can focus exactly on my shoes. So now I'm focused on my shoes. I don't know why I would take a picture of my shoes, but yeah. And then you can focus further, just like that. And here we see the top plate of the M3. Now you got your film rewind on the left, left, left. And then you got your cold shoe. I said hot shoe before, haha. <laughs> it's a cold shoe because there's nothing on it. I mean, it's just meant for holding shit. But yeah, and you got your yeah, cold shoe. You got your shutter speed dial which rotates completely in a 360. I don't know why I did that. And you got your film advance lever, your shutter button, which you can screw in a uh, cable release, which is pretty cool. And then you got your shutter uh, count dial, which is awesome. I mean, that's the prettiest one ever. Now here's the back of the camera. You got your, you got your, uh, your viewfinder. You got your flash sync port, which doesn't work with any normal flashes today, so you gotta get it updated. And this is the film back door. Now, I'll, I'll probably show you that when I take it off. The front of the Leica is also pretty simple. You got self timer, which never used once. I don't know why people would ever use that. And you got your film rewind lever. And then you got your button to take the lens off, which I'm not gonna do because it's fucking hard as hell to get these lenses off. I am now going to attempt to take a Leica bottom plate off with one hand. First up, you flip this little lever and twist it. It's kind of hard to twist. Boop. And then the bottom plate comes off just like that. And with that off, you can flip down the back door. You can pull out the film spool. Just like that. Very simple, yeah. Film goes in there, it's even got an arrow in case you're fucking stupid. And there you have it. That's a, that's basically all the parts to it like an M3. Now the one nice part about film like this is it has a rubber cloth focal plane shutter, which means that this little guy right here, it goes from side to side, not up and down, which helps reduce vibration when you're trying to take photos at like one fifteenth of a second, one tenth of a second, and makes it much nicer to take photos when it's dark out when your film isn't meant for being shot at night. Like I shot a few photos at Portrait 400 with Portrait 400 film and they came out pretty fantastic even though I was only at F2. Now there was some problems when the M3 came out like you could only use 50 millimeter to 135 millimeter lenses. That's not great. There's no wide angles on that, which is why 
the M2 was made, which brought us to the current 0.72 magnification instead of the point, what is it, 0.92 of the M3. So the M3, if you want to, if you love 50 millimeter lenses, this camera's for you. It focuses 50 millimeters basically perfectly. But anything else, if you like long range lenses, I mean, I guess you can shoot like a 75 or a 135 on here, but it's, it's so much easier to use an M2 or an M4 if you want to shoot 35 millimeter lenses or even a 28 millimeter, but then you have to guess. Now, I don't know if you're down for that. I'm going to show you what the shutter sounds like on the camera. Means the way you set it, you just turn it. Pretty simple. And then, that's it. Uh, uh, it's a double, I have a double stroke camera, so I gotta stroke it twice. I also stroke out. That's it at a thousand. It's, it's pretty quiet. It's nice if you wanna be like discreet. It's not as quiet as like some cameras now, but it's still, it's still pretty quiet. <laughs> and unlike me. Now the one nice thing about the Leica M3 is that it doesn't need any batteries, which means it'll never it'll never die on you when you're out shooting. It's just you load in the film and bam, you're off to go. Now, what does that mean when you got no batteries in your camera? It means that it's all manual. It won't do anything for you. It's literally there just to take a picture. You have to do all the all the calculations yourself. Is that hard? No. With practice, with practice, anyone can do anything. I mean, like, how the hell did you learn to ride a bike? Or, like, play baseball? Or, I don't know, do solitaire? Or whatever. It's all practice. Practice makes perfect. And this camera? This camera takes a decent amount of practice, but once you get it, you're good. Take some good-ass photos. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed my Leica M3 review. I um, mean, if you'd like to see more of my videos, just you can subscribe to my channel. And, uh, give me a like. And, uh, comment if you want to see your favorite camera reviewed in a drunken disorderly manner the way I usually like to do things. Later! Even cats love the Leica M3. <laughs> they love it. Oh god. Rub all over it.